Alright, welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you my ultimate total quarry program. I'm going to show you how to set it up, how to use it, and just what it does. Um, before we get started, you can see three chests here buried in the ground at different heights. They'll be used later on in the inventory. Right? They've got uh, items in them, exact same in each chest. The idea is it's going to show you that my turtles, instead of just destroying chests, will actually loot the chest, then destroy it. So you won't lose anything that was in the chests. First thing you want to do is write down your program, your coordinates for the start of your quarry. Mine is negative 297 on the X, and the Z is 1068. Then you want to go and write down the end coordinates of your quarry. So I'm going to end mine way over here. You can end it right here if you'd like, but I'm going to make mine nice and big just for the sake of it. So my end coordinates are going to be negative 384, 961. And that's the box there where they're going to end. Alright, so let's get this going. You write down those coordinates, by the way, you'll need them in a minute. As you can see, there are no turtles or computers set up anywhere yet. This is because I want to show you all of this from scratch so you know how easy it is to do. Okay, let's get the show on the road. Turn creative mode off first, otherwise it duplicates computers and you get conflicting ID numbers and it's problems. You need three computers and three wireless um, route modems. Now this screen here is six high by seven wide, you don't need it. Uh, if you want GPS location to actually show on screen, then you will need it. But if all you want to do is make the, the turtles dig, you don't actually need it. So that's downstairs. This is the main computer downstairs. Now, you can see up in the air there is another room. And that's way up there at a height of 230. That's because of red net uh, range restrictions. In order to make it work properly, you need to have one of your computers or two of them. I'll show you how to do it. Up there at height so they can transmit a, f a signal further. This portal leads to up there. Let's go through. Now up here, as you can see, once again, big screen, no computers. So let's get the computer set up. So set up one, two, and we're going to need to put routers on the back of them, modems rather on the back of them. One and two. Okay, let's go. So for the downstairs computer, grab its paste bin thing. Now its paste bin link is the GPS basement manager for the downstairs one. So run it. Now run the program. Now it's telling you its terminal ID is zero. Write this down, you'll need it in just a second. Back to the upstairs ones. Doesn't matter which one of these takes which program, so the top one in ours will be the job manager. So grab the job manager paste bin link, attach it there, and then run it when it wants to finally download. There we go, now run it. Okay, now it's asking for the X coordinate for the start of the quarry. Now we've written these down. So it was negative 297 for the X start. The Z start was 1068. The X finish was negative 384. And the Z finish was 961. We want these to dig at a height, I'm gonna say 63, just with a, yeah. That's where they're gonna start digging at. Okay, now it's terminal ID is one. Write this down. Okay, GPS manager now. So you need the GPS manager paste bin link, not the basement, the other one, and run it. Now it's going to ask you for the GPS basement manager's ID, which we wrote down, was zero. Okay, that's it. Computers are set up, ready to go. Oh, actually, wait there. We'll set this one here. Now, this one here has persistence. Okay, what this means, you go to number one now, it's going to start assigning jobs, starting at this coordinate and working its way through to the end. Now, if the computer crashes for any reason, well, then this is crashed and you'll have to start all over again. If you have persistence turned on, which at the moment's off, if you have it turned on and the computer crashes for whatever reason, when it starts up, it will remember where it was up to when it's jobs and it will keep doling out the jobs as if nothing had even happened. So we're going to turn persistence on for this one and start doling out jobs. So it's waiting for a turtle and it's going to give it this job at these coordinates. Okay, let's go set some turtles up. So we've got our three turtles. One two, and three. I'm put it back in creative mode for the moment. Okay, now we're going to give these all their pastebin codes. So the pastebin code is the quarry one. Okay, it's its program. It's got its program. And he's got his program. Okay, now let's set the totals up. Now there's no coding involved, which is great. Okay, so this one, when you run the program, it's asking for its x coordinate. So it's at negative 310. And its z is 1086. So negative 310. Whoa, 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 whoa. Try this probably might help, eh? Negative 310, 1086. It's at a height of 64. I just checked then. 
Now, you want to have all your turtles to have different travel heights. This is so they don't run into each other and cause problems there. So this one I'm going to give a travel height of, we're going to say, 75. Uh, every other turtle, accordingly, is going to have a, a higher or lower one, depending on what you want to set, just not the same. Okay? Uh, currently, this one is facing north. So we're telling it's facing north. Uh, here's label. Now, the label of the turtle depends on where it's going to appear on the screen. Label 1 will be the first one. If you want, label 1 is, you know, number 20, he'll be the 20th one to appear on the GPS screen. So we'll put him as number 1. The job manager's ID was number 1, and the GPS manager was number 2. Okay, he is now ready to go. So set up the coordinates for this one here. Quarry. Now his X is negative 312, because his two spots further away. 1086, 64. Travel height of 76. You want to travel a different height. Okay? He is facing north. He is number two. His job manager was number one, and his GPS manager was number two. He is now ready to go. Okay, so set up this one. Quarry. Negative. 314, 1086, 64, travel height of 77, uh, he's facing north, his label is 3, job manager was 1, GPS manager was 2. They're now all set up, ready to go. Let's give them some fuel. So we'll give them 4 bits of fuel for each. Hit number 5 to refuel. Number 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, number 5 to refuel. One, two, three, four. Number five to refuel. Okay, so they're all now refueled. There we go. And they should be on the screen. Look at this. That is their current home. They are currently at home. That's the home coordinates there. And that's the fuel they have in them. So let's send them out to get a job. Go get a job, bum. You go get a job too. Okay. Well, these three turtles are now all out getting ourselves a job. Now this one here is going to go and dig at the first set of coordinates the, the computer upstairs gave it. He'll go to the second set, third set accordingly. So let's watch how they work. Now <laughs> yeah, this one here has arrived at the first coordinate. As you can see, that's where I put that wooden block. Now because he's digging down, he'll wait a second before he digs down or up. That's so they don't crash into other turtles and kill them. And yeah, yeah, that's why I did that. Anyway. So he's now at his first location. As you can see, he digs three high at a time. If there was anything above him, he'd also dig that. I can show you this like this. So he digs forwards, below and above him all at the same time. There we go. Our turtles are now digging in quarries. He'll dig those blocks as well, see? And their coordinates are all being tracked. They're now on site, and their coordinates are all moving, as is their fuel. Everything's in real time. Now watch this as he discovers these chests here. Now as you can see, he's got nothing in his inventory. But he just found and destroyed that first chest. So let's see what happens to the chest. Look at that. He's got the contents of the chest and the chest all in his inventory. So that, that does show he does actually pick them up. This chest here is a little bit further down, so he'll take a while to get to that. We're not going to wait. But we'll let him check this chest here as well and see what happens when he finds it. When these things get to a fuel level below 400, they will drive themselves back to their own base so they don't run out of fuel on the site. Look at this, he's now got two chests of each type and two chests. So he's definitely collecting from chests before he destroys them. Great. Okay, and these guys here are digging their quarries. Now, if I add any more to the list, obviously the quarry will stand. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave these guys to dig for a while and I'll come back to you in about 20 minutes. And what I'm going to do then is crash the server and show you what happens, what these turtles will do if the, if the server crashes while they're mid-job. In fact, no, don't worry about it, I'm going to do that right now. So let's watch. Turtles are all in a job, let's crash the computer. Okay, server went down, let's get back into it and see what these turtles do. Okay, as you can see, they're not doing anything, they're just sitting there because the server crashed, they don't know what to do. This is a standard result. This, however, is not. This is their persistence. What they'll do, because they're in a job, they now realign themselves to their travel height. They'll restart themselves at the start of the quarry. And then they'll start the quarry all over again. 
from whatever height they were at before the server went down. So if they were at a height of you know 51, then that's where they'll start from. Because they had already started from this, they were already at this height, only on the first level. That basically looks like the start of the quarry all over again. But say, for example, they were down here, they'll start from this height and keep digging. That's actually why I wanted to wait 20 minutes first, but whatever. So there you go, that's the video.